According to this Google search, just dressing up like a lawyer doesn't make me one. What do they know? Uh, <laughs> hey, hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, Morris here. I know what you're thinking. Why am I dressed up all clean cut, red tie, blue shirt, trying to be some attorney Edgar J. Snyder wannabe? Well, that's because uh, we don't have the money to afford a lawyer, and I kind of thought we should put a disclaimer at the front of this video. Uh, see, there's a couple things we need to make clear to you. The first off being, we were not paid or compensated in any way by Adventuria or Ulysses Spiel to represent their card game for them. Uh, we just genuinely really enjoyed the game and need to make that clear. If we ever are compensated for any of our reviews, we'll let you know, because that's the podcast we intend to run. Uh, second, there are some really dirty jokes in this one. And I know that's probably par for the course for us, but I just wanted to throw that out there since Adventuria is a new card game. Just in case you came across this video trying to figure out how to play it or what it's like, our jokes have nothing to do with the opinions or dispositions of Ulysses Spiel or Adventuria. We're just gamers making sick jokes. Don't hold it against the company. Okay? All right, now with those out of the way, I may as well also mention that I made a modified intro for Origins 2017, which features some dice from Crystal Cast, as well as a very nice mat from Elderwood Academy. Now, the mat I paid money for, the dice we got free for attending Origins 2017, happening by the booth. Uh, again, we were not specially compensated in any way to represent their products. They were just really nice, so I decided I'd feature them in the video. So, that all out of the way. Hope you enjoy the rest of this video. portion can we see each other's hands so are they supposed to be you right? can and okay. you can talk about what is in your hands and talk about strategies with each other during the adventure mode you are a party of adventurers all together so you're all friends yep it's all we're all uh what do you call it <clears throat> bloodthirsty murder hobos well besides that it's a, a cooperative this is the cooperative rather than the pvp can I go ruin the game and sit over here? Sure. All right. Come on, get cozy. Where, where is my, where is the wizard deck? Uh, wizard deck is, here you go. Okay. And then Morris, are you playing your swashbuckle? Unless uh, Rob wants to fight me for it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Did you want this? Deep. Yeah, probably go deep. Yeah. Okay. Or there's uh, Elven Chick. She's kind of rangery and a druid dude. Well, I'm kind of beefy, so I don't think. Or, okay. or is more like beefy. More played the thief last I time. I played it last time. I'm mean, not, you know, like if that's what if you that's want. If that's easier for you while you you're want. filming, mm -hmm. that, if it's easier for you while you're filming to play something you already played, then that's cool. Okay. I will go with the uh, ranger chick. All right. Can you so, my or get I got you. Got me? Cool. Your character uh, card is on your right. Right. And your deck is right there. So, right. Oh, my right, right there? Yep. Okay. I am smack freaking dab in the center. Is my hair okay? <laughs> <laughs> That's Which probably not any worse than mine. I did. Oh. Uh, so, a quick rundown of what is happening. I'm sure that you guys have talked about how to play already. Yeah, I but, told Doug a little. I didn't tell Rob much, but yeah. Yeah, the... So, whenever... You're it, you'll learn it, I think. <laughs> whenever you're uh, grabbing your deck, there's two cards on the top there. It's, uh, one is for your skills, your hero's skills, and the other is uh, the rest of your hero's character sheet. Um, 
on the left side of your hero's uh, character sheet, that you'll see uh, on one of them three bubbles uh, that will represent melee, ranged, and magic. Do you guys see those? Okay. Nope. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine Sorry, I'm the blind, blind guy. guy. A, insert blind joke here. Okay. All right. And then on the right side, you have dodge. And uh, the way that this works in, advent- in Adventuria and the Dark Guy role playing game, whenever guy, you roll you against yourself, you never roll against someone else. You always roll against yourself. Yeah. Um, whenever you roll against yourself, you want the number that is on your character sheet below or less. Yeah. Higher than that is a failure. 20 is always so a failure. So Adventuria is based on Dark Eye? Adventuria is based on Dark Eye. In the Dark Eye role-playing game, the basic setting is uh, a world called Adventuria. Okay. I've heard of Dark Eye. I've never played it, but I've heard of it. Okay. Um, the other things that you'll find, one of them, uh, the other one, other than the one with the bubbles, is all of your skills. You'll have body control, craft, knowledge, perception, persuade, stealth, survival, and willpower. And you have numbers there that are just like the uh, bubbles over on the other card that represent what you need or less to roll under. To roll uh, on to succeed. I don't think I'm much of a ranger type. My survival is eight. I would be screwed in this. This druid over here has a survival of 12. Yeah. This one, this trick is survival 14. She, she she's an elf. Yeah. <laughs> she lives in the woods. Um, she this is back to first edition. <laughs> What's your class? <laughs> elf. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Then on the, going back over to the one with bubbles, uh, the rest of the character sheet has uh, obviously your name and your basic equipment. So, for instance, this druid can cast stones as a ranged attack. Um, throw rocks. Yep, throw rocks. And so, uh, whenever you're look at, looking at that, uh, there are two symbols to make note. The first is a number, usually one, uh, inside of a circle. And that is the amount of endurance that you're going to use to Use activate it. And then the box with the uh, undo button is the exhaust symbol. So whenever you uh, want to use that attack, for instance, you'd have to use one endurance, and I'll get to endurance in a second, uh, and then turn it sideways as if you are tapping. Tapping is copyright of yeah, Magic the say, Gathering. How did you guys get away with even but we get exhausting, so we exhaust it sideways. This is him laying down. Oh yeah, he's sleeping. It's exhausting. Yep. And uh, not tapping it then you'll away. unexhaust it's it at the beginning of your next turn. turn. So is it, is it literally a quarter turn? It's a quarter turn or a half half if he, if he turn. Hold a half turn. Then he as long as you money. know and everyone else knows. As long as you know, it's yeah. You're, you used that one already. I'm okay. messy, so I usually go half. Uh, so that it's quite obvious. You might want to keep a little jar there to put your quarter in every time you actually tap something. Mm-hmm. So you can send it to Wizards of the Coast. Tarot pass, bro. We're not allowed to say. <laughs> Can't even say it. Use, uh, use the magic user by the sea. <laughs> so in your deck, you have two types of cards. Now get my money, Wizards. One has a black border, and the other has a red border. And this represents whether or not is it, it is a permanent or quick play card. I'm blind! So yes. Permanent. <laughs> <laughs> Are these all blind? Oh, inside. Okay, inside. So oh, right there is a red border. Oh. And that represents looking, the fact that it's all, a quick play. They all have they all black borders with my mind. Okay. It's quick play. Alright, go ahead. And so, whenever you want to play a card of any sort, you'll need endurance equal to the amount of uh, the number in the top left corner in that bubble. For instance, this card is three. So you'll have to spend three endurance, and I'll get to it in a second, uh, nice. to activate that card. And that will be essentially pulling it from your hand and placing it down on the field. And if it's a permanent card, it will stay out and be usable from turn to turn until something gets rid of it or the combat ends. 
if you have a card with a red border that you want to play, then you'll do the same. You'll spend the amount of endurance equal to the number in the top left corner in that bubble. Uh, and then you will cast it down. Certain cards, if it has a black uh, bubble instead of a white bubble, means that you can play it out of turn. So for instance, this card says, play this card after a hero lost life points due to an opponent's attack. That would mean any time that that situation arises, you can play it, no matter if it's your turn. As long as you have the correct amount of endurance cards to be able to spend it, yeah. to spend it, and and ca cast that uh, card down. Okay, so real quick. Yes. Black bordered cards you put permanent. down and they're permanent. Red lasts for your turn. Red lasts until the effect has taken place. Okay. And they each cost that much endurance, and a black. And a circle black circle on a red played. border can be played out of turn. Okay. There are no black circles on a black border. There are no black circles on a black border. Okay, yeah, I don't see any. Okay, alrighty. Um, a little side note, sometimes you'll find a red card or a black card, for instance, that has, uh, instead of a number in that bubble, X, and X is variable, if you remember out. Um, so, the variable amount of how many endurance you, you want to use then we'll have a variable amount of effectiveness. For instance, this is this is miracle. Improve the dice result of a failed skill roll or attack roll of a hero of your choice by X variable plus three. So if I spend zero and play it, then it's gonna be zero plus three and I still do something. And I don't have to spend endurance. Or I can spend ten and improve it by thirteen. Wait, are you trying to get under? Uh, it will be improve the dice result. Of so, the it'll still be, okay. so it will it'll reduce be the, uh, the number on the die. This game, so it'll including... take 13 off the die if you do it that way. Yep. So if you rolled a 19, then you can you drop it down to a 6 or whatever. So this game has lost extra tw if it's 20, it's, all, always an, it's an automatic <laughs> failure, correct? So that's a quick rundown on what the cards will You're be doing. Math. math is hard. Um, this now we get account. to endurance. <laughs> yeah. uh, whenever you start a, the game or a combat, you will draw five cards from, from the deck uh, into your hand. From the top of the deck, the, uh, all of the cards facing down so that you don't know what's next. Um, once you have five cards in your hand, uh, depending on whether or not you are a an heir, uh, if you are an heir, which is going to be something cool about the adventure mode, uh, for this scenario, cool. you'd be uh, drawing seven instead of five. Ooh, oh, that's awesome. awesome. And at the beginning of each turn, you draw two additional cards, no matter what, at the beginning of your turn, unless you are out of cards in your deck. Then you just play with what you have. If and you, hope like hell you don't miss nothing. <laughs> yeah, okay, if, you're, is if there, you deck yourself, yeah. do, you, you do, that? do you shuffle in your discard or are you done? You do not shuffle in your discard. Oh. If you so have abilities work. that will oh, no, take cards from your discard and put them into your deck, then you can do that. But if not, you're pretty much. But if not, that. you have all of your permanent abilities to use. So you can still keep going. Yes, you can still keep going and finish the combat. Um, I've never had a combat, uh, or a, rather a game, where someone then did not have anything to do at the end of their deck. Uh, usually it's more actions than they can use. So whenever you're dealing with attacks, you have melee ranged and magic. You can do all three of those, but never once, twice. So you can never do two magics or two ranged, but you can do melee ranged and magic in the same turn. Uh, there are two forms of uh, skill checks. The first ver version is an attack, which is exactly what I just said. You can only do uh, at maximum three, one of each type. Um, and the other is tests. Tests normally do not count as an attack. So if you have a magical test like and a, a magical attack, like a gym. <laughs> then you can do your magical test and magical attack in the same round. Um, and it will not count as a magical attack. 
Some Endurance. Sometime later we got to talk about what a dick Mike was with his gin yesterday. <laughs> I already told Doug how much of a dick I was with that. But yeah. Yes, but the people at home haven't heard yet. <laughs> uh, I wasn't a dick. I was a winner. That's the, the word you're looking that's, for, winner. Yeah, that's another word for dick, yes. I'm a wiener. <laughs> wiener, yeah. <laughs> well, I am that too, but you know. All right. Endurance. Whenever you have cards in your hand, obviously, uh, the first phase is drawing. Uh, the second phase is endurance phase. So you can take zero, one, or two cards from your hand, no matter what the card is, and place them face down on the field. And they your, then your become an endurance card. Yep. Exactly what Mike, Mike, Mike said. Okay. So each round you can do during your endurance phase, zero, one, or two, which means you might want to add up until you think that you're good with the amount of endurance that you have in your pool. At the beginning More of each better. round, any exhausted endurance, for instance, if I wanted to use those throwing stones, that costs one endurance, and if I have one endurance down on the field, I can exhaust it and throw those stones and make that attack. At the beginning of my turn, I will unexhaust it, along with drawing my cards. Oh. Um, so it doesn't go away. Yeah. So it does not go away. Just it goes away for the, your turn, and then it comes back the next turn. Okay. So, okay, so first turn, put down endurance, throw a stone... Next turn, I can. You can put down endurance and attack same turn. Yes. So okay. the third part of your turn, after you put down your endurance, will be playing any cards, using any cards, including your basic equipment or other things or other actions. Um, if you think somehow that you can creatively do a skill and be successful with it, for instance, you can do other actions other than the cards that are on your field, depending on how creative your DM is. Um, which, this game can be played without a DM. You can play against the box. Uh, and that would require people to uh, just go through Flips. the adventure and read it out loud for everyone and then play it out. It plays a lot like a video game with your friends. Or uh, if you guys have heard of Sentinels of the Multiverse, it plays like that whenever you just take out the pamphlet and read it. You know, actually, it's kind of like it's kind of like nerd solitaire. Then, actually, <laughs> yes, and you can play it by yourself, which actually is cool. Yeah, yeah you can stay home and play with yourself all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why you got married, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> no, all right, someone Mike, else sorry, refusing to touch you. me. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. All right. So, does anyone have any questions for me right now? Nope. All uh, right. Is there a hand limit? The hand limit is seven at the end of your turn. Okay. Um, so if you have more than seven cards at the end of your turn, you, you have, have to, to discard, discard down to seven. Yes. Okay. Fate points. Uh, in the dueling mode, there are two modes to this uh, game, obviously, adventure and dueling. Uh, in the dueling mode, you can use fate points whenever you um, fail at a d20 roll or want to re-roll a d20 roll at any point in time. Or the second option with fake points is to use it as an endurance card for one turn. You get rid of it whenever you use it. Gives you an extra point of endurance, yeah. There's always an amount of endurance, uh, rather, fake chips in play equal to the number of players Players times two. Times two, exactly. So you'd have two, four, six, eight. Four, six, eight. So we don't need ten. Quick question. Yes. When you put down cards as endurance, should you pick cards you you don't think you're ever going to want? Uh, absolutely. That's probably yes. That's the prime mechanic. you're not getting them back. Oh, absolutely. Okay. There are only a few cards that will say, I want cards back from my endurance. I was just going to ask if there was anything there. Like, did that. Yeah. Well, like When I first started, I got two cards with the disintegrate thing. And it was like four to play it, uh, pull it out, and then so much to activate it. And I was like, uh, I don't have nothing now, so I might as well drop those out there. Okay. And that's why you never got the Disintegrate spell. When right, pretty much, yep. Otherwise, that would have been a shorter game. <laughs> well, I just don't think it... Well, it's... I don't know. Maybe. I just didn't think I was going to... I wasn't going to get to it anytime soon, so I figured there's no point in if I'm, not, if I'm just going to hold it in my hand the whole time. You know what I mean? Yeah. The theme music used for this podcast, 
Orc March by Snowflake, featuring Wolf Sebastian and Spitting Merkaba, is available from CC Mixter under the Creative Commons Attribution 3.0 license. You can find it at dig.ccmixter.org. What's the other thing you're going to? Uh, Pathfinder Adventure oh, Card Game. What are you doing? Pathfinder, Pathfinder Adventure Card Game demo. Oh, you're going to do the card game. Yeah. Pass go. Snapchat has an energy builder. Imagine that. Well, if everything goes well, I think Adventure is a better card game than Pathfinder. I would really hope that you would think that. I've played both. I like this one better. So. Well, I haven't tried the path one. Well, that's what I'm saying. You've got you to pick for yourself. Hey, kids. Did you make it through the episode? Good. Now here's what you need to do. Email Mike at Volantrix at gmail.com. That's Volantrix. Spelled V A L A N T R I X. Give us a question for our next audio only episode. It's coming up. And then if it passes, you didn't ask us a question, and we could have talked about that question. You you regret it, maybe. Just just do it, please. Alright.